In today's tutorial, you will learn how to find pool setbacks using the city's zoning map and the city zoning code. Start by going to cityofpsl.com pz. Scroll down and select zoning map on the left. Once the map comes up, you will notice that some of the layers are pre-selected. For the purposes of today's lesson, select zoning and deselect the others. In the search bar on the left-hand corner, you will enter the address you are seeking pool setbacks for. In this example, 2066 Southwest Beer Guard Street. Select the dot that pinpoints the location you typed in. Then select the arrow to display the zoning and the zoning classification will appear. Single family, residential RS2 for this example. Normally when finding pool setbacks, the side in the rear setbacks for a pool is what is required. So let's obtain that information using the city's zoning code. Select the back arrow to return to the planning and zoning homepage. Then scroll down and select Zoning Code on the left, and it will take you to the city's MUNA code. Chapter 158 Zoning Code is pre-selected. All the zoning districts are found under this chapter. For our example, we will select the arrow next to Article 5, Residential Districts, and then select Single Family Residential Zoning District, RS2. Scroll down to subsection H, Yard Requirements and Landscaping, and you will find that the side setback is 10 feet. However, we cannot use the rear setback for the building or house because pools are considered accessory structures, not main structures. Let's see what our code says about accessory structures. In the Municode search bar, type accessory. You will see accessory uses and structures appear as one of the search options. Select that. Scroll down to subsection C, accessory uses in single family residential districts, and you will find that the rear setback for a pool is 10 feet. The 10-foot side and 10-foot rear pool setback applies whether the zoning is a state residential or RS1 through RS3. And it applies to not only pools, but pool decks and screen enclosures. Now let's go through some scenarios that require further research to obtain pool setbacks. For example, if the house you are seeking pool setbacks for is situated in a corner lot, the rear setback will not change, it'll still be 10 feet, but the side setback facing the street will. Let's return to the Municode search bar and type in corner. Select the only search result that comes up, setback requirements for corner lot and single family residential district. In order to determine the side setback of a corner lot, you will need the width of the lot. This information can be easily obtained from the property appraiser site. The width is shown at the front of the property line when you look up a lot on the property appraiser site. The greater the width, the greater the side setback facing the street will be. Another scenario you may encounter is if the house has a body of water or canal behind it. Oftentimes, this increases the rear setback for a pool to 20 feet instead of 10. However, to know for sure, you need to look at the plat for that area. To find a plat, you need a legal description, which can easily be obtained from the county property appraiser site. Once you have that, open a new tab and go to acclaimweb.stlucyclerk.com. If you have the book number and page number of the plat, you can search by book slash page. However, that is not always the case, so let's say you don't have that information, then you'll select Name. Select I accept the conditions above and the search functions will appear. From the legal description, you should have obtained the section. Let's say it is Port St. Lucie Section 8, so you type that in for name and click Search. Select either search result. I'll go ahead and select the first, and there on that page it tells me Port St. Lucie Section 8 and Book 12, page 38A through 38I. Now I can exit out and return to the home page and select book slash page. For book type, you will select plats. Then enter the book number and page number, which for this example is 12 and 38. The letters after the number are not required. Click search. The first search result is the correct one. You will need to select display all pages on top to view the entire plat which for this one is 10 pages. It takes a bit to load, so don't worry if it appears to stall. Once the rest of the pages appear, download it so you can navigate through it easier. Scroll down to the first page of the plat, and in the dedication section, you will find the information you're looking for in fine print. It reads, a strip of land 20 feet wide at lines abutting to and adjacent to a drainage right of way or waterway is reserved by the General Development Corporation or its assigns for the installation and maintenance of public utilities and drainage facilities. Navigate down the plat and find your lot using the block number and lot number you obtained from the legal description. And if it backs up into a waterway or a drainage right of way, then the 20 foot rear setback applies. Last thing I will mention is if the house you are seeking pool setbacks for is in a planned unit development, 
or PUD. In this case, you will need to look at the PUD document for that area or community to find out the setbacks. PUD documents are accessible to planning staff, so you can contact the planner of the day at 772-871-5212 to obtain that information. Furthermore, it is a good idea to ask the planner of the day for the PUD document itself. That way, if you are ever looking for pool setbacks for another house in the same community, you have the documents to find them. Thank you for tuning in to today's 101 tutorial on finding pool setbacks.